Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So we're heading over to Mondello Park today. We're going over for the Drift Games experience. What that is, is the drift school where people can arrive and learn how to drift. Uh, the cars that we use in the school are the Nissan 350Zs. They are, I think they're about 300 brake horsepower, naturally aspirated. Uh, they don't really have much mods to them, but they have a hydro welded diff. It's really, really good crack. And uh, hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll get a chance to do a few skids. Oh, cars. This, oh, this is Chris. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to Drift Games, everybody. Joe's going to show us how to drift here now today. How are you feeling about this, Joe? Quietly confident. That's the job. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. I don't need my back seat belt on it as well, do I? <laughs> How's your health insurance? <laughs> See how much I remember from the last day. Running through it with me there, what do you think we have to do up here, son? So, as soon as I get up here, get a bit of speed up, let go of the steering wheel, let it go fully around, catch it again, power, go. Right, you're just forgetting a few things, right? I don't. The few things I always try to tell people to do is, right? Step one is clutch, step two is handbrake, step three is let go of the steering wheel. Right. So a bit faster, 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 and handbrake now. No. Go on. When you're letting go of the steering wheel, Joe, right? Remember that you're only letting go of it for a quick second. You have to grab it and also turn it into the drift sometimes as well. All depends on how much angle we're allowing into the car. Yeah. Because when the back of the car is over rotating, you're just not turning it in quick enough. Okay. So remember, let go, grab. Sometimes you have to turn it in. It all depends on how much angle there is. On this corner here, remember it's very slippy, it's loads of handbrake. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Wait for handbrake now. Power. Easy, off it. Now go again. Easy, off it. Joe, you had more steering to go into the corner, or into the drift, should I say. Yeah. For some reason, as it started over rotating a little bit, you didn't actually turn steering in that extra bit. Okay. You still had a bit more there. So if you turned it in, we would have saved that perfectly. But you just allowed the car to over rotate on us. Okay. And then as it was over rotating, you turned the steering the opposite way. Grand. Okay. So try and remember if you feel the back of the car over rotating, see if there's any steering left. If there's no steering left, get off the throttle and it'll start straightening back up slowly but surely. Okay. okay. Feel under pressure now with this camera on. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> three stages to it. First third of it is slippy. Second third of it is grippy. So you have to be on the power a lot a lot quicker and sooner. And don't be afraid to hold it there for a second to let the power band go up and that's when you're on and off throttle. You need to do that sooner. And then the third part as well is you have to remember it gets slippy again. Yeah. So if you maintain the high power on it, that's when we'll over rotate like we did. If you feel the back of the car over rotating, yeah. you're still kind of dabbing the accelerator there as touch. Get off it. Okay. Allow the back of the car to come back in a bit, and that's when you have to get back on the throttle. So when I feel the back of the car coming out, over rotating too much on you. Off. The if power. there's no steering left, get off the power. You don't have to keep dabbing it all the time. Right. Now remember what we did here last time, right? We spun coming out of it because you were still on throttle too much. So <coughs> remember to ease off it, all right? Right, go. Oh, go, 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 go. And stop. Good work. 
So you got on the power band earlier up on the grippy stage of it, which was perfect. And then you start easing off then as we start coming out nicely. So you did that one now really well. Cool. Just we'll have to do it again. That's it. So I'm not gonna criticize too much more just yet. Once we start nailing the corners, that's when we'll fine fine line everything else with you then, okay? Yeah. And I was going, I kind of had too much power at the end of it here. Yeah, you were just on and off the throttle, see? See where they're spinning out now? Yeah. That's the most slippiest part of it. So don't be afraid to get off the throttle completely. You don't always have to have the on throttle. Because sometimes there's enough momentum in the car to push you through it, push it through it. Try and remember as well, right? Stop for a second, stop Joe. Try and remember, okay? When you're coming to an end and you know that you're gonna finish drifting and you come off the throttle, remember that your steering is always turned. So if you straighten that back up as you're coming to an end, it'll stop us jolting all around okay. the place. Yeah. Right, go ahead. A good save there. We nearly, <laughs> we nearly, we nearly overall hit it, but as soon as you got off the throttle for a second, we start straightening back up again. So yeah. could you feel the difference there? Instead of being on and on, on and off throttle all the time, still overall hitting. I could Watch feel it. the difference, and um, I was kind of trying to bring the steering back a bit more yeah. towards the end of it, so it wasn't as violent of it. Exactly. You're getting there. One step at a time. Right, let's go. This is the area here that I said yeah. that you have to be off the throttle. We have enough momentum, even though it doesn't feel like it because we're going slow. You hear me? We have enough momentum in the car to push us through. I do, yeah, I'll throw it out there now. Down, down, lad. Bit of a splutter in it, is there? No, I think it's just me. All right, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. improvements or, or, or fuck ups as we yeah, say, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean, like because <clears throat> you just came in too tight to them. Uh, the key thing is as well is, right, on the two corners, it's very important to stay in the middle of the track on the bottom. Because you're veering to the left, you're veering to the right, and the surfaces change, they're grippy and slippy. So always try to stay in the middle. So it's easier for yourself to try to learn, stay in the middle. Alright, go. Especially on that section. That's what you have to try to get into your head. It's just that section, get off it. And even if you are on throttle, just fitter. That's all you need. Right, let's go. A bit faster. And go. Power. More power, more power, more power, more power, more power. More power. Stay on it, stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. I'll go. Power. Everything was going really well, but as we spun, you turn the steering wheel the extra bit. Try to get your steering turned in quicker before we overall hit. Okay. Because as we start spinning around there, that's when you turned it in the extra bit. It was just delayed reaction, I think. Remember, stay in the middle. Too heavy footed there. Yeah. And even as we start 
over rotating, you came off throttle for a second, but you still went back on it. Stay off it. Stay off it. If we stop drifting, what about it? Just stay off it. It's better than just trying to. It's better than spinning. Exactly. Happy if we can get that right. Yes, it's tricky. It is very tricky. All right, go ahead. Right, go. No power, no power, no power, no power. I could went you, on full lock too early. Could you not feel? Could you not actually feel the car over rotate before you even hit yeah. the accelerator? So it's just trying. It's just trying to tell yourself not to hit the accelerator there like if you felt that back of the car already on max angle you should have just been off the throttle all yeah. together i think by the time i'd noticed it it was it was too late i was gone like it's just you're so used to getting off the handbrake and the clutch and getting straight onto the power there yeah. <sighs> good crack though ah it's brilliant it's brilliant and it's really re it's really rewarding when you see people when you see people getting it and they're actually listening to you and learning throughout the, the courses and everything else, it, it's actually really rewarding, like it's good fun. Right, let's nail it, let's go. If you try to let momentum carry me through at the start of it because that's where our problem is so the last two times in a row after spinning like say just as we start going around that corn fuck's sake <laughs> a little too heavy footed there yeah. the problem is on that corn right it's, it's near enough at the start of the corn as we start to transition that's where you're spinning so the last two times you've just been too heavy footed on it. Yeah. So get off it, get a third of the way around it, and that's when you have to get back on the throttle. Like sit here and watch the way everyone else is trying to do it as well, and they're spinning out in the same place. Just a little bit too heavy foot straight off the bat. So it's okay like to get on the throttle, but make sure you just get off it. So it's just a matter of keeping the power band up a bit. So get on and off the throttle, but you might have to leave a bigger gap when you're getting off it. saying to you to get off the throttle and that going around the cone you have to also remember like if you get off the throttle completely for too long we're allowing all the power to die down out of the car so as soon as you put your foot back on the throttle again there's nothing there so you have to be on and off the throttle to try to keep the power keep band the power up a up. bit and that way then like it all depends on how slippy obviously it is in certain areas that how long of a, a gap you put on in the throttle then in between try correct yourself now in these situations right so where do you think you went wrong there don't think I think when I came back on the throttle I went too hard at it not necessarily no where I see you went where you went wrong is right as we were coming down into that corner you veered over to the left right. when you veer over to the left it's more grippy so when you pulled your handbrake we didn't have that much angle so by the time you actually put the power in and to give you that bit more angle she shot around too quick on us so that's why i was saying to you it's easier for you to learn if you stay in the middle of both corners because you're used to the same grip level all the time yeah so when you went to the left it was more grippy little angle and by the time you got on the power then and it, we had angle it was too much then it shot us out so just try and stay in the middle all the time so i'm just too used to veering over to that side there now alan so if you want to do one or two more runs bring it on in there right one more sound You 
didn't go on the handbrake long enough on the transition. So that's what fucked us up. Yeah. Like you literally went, you didn't really do anything. You had to give it a good pull, let it transition, and then get back on the power. Right, last corner. Stay in the middle. Right, go. Well done, man. Thank you very much. I'm a better videographer than Joe. <laughs> Let's go! Do you want me to move that cone? Huh? Do you want me to move that transition cone so then no, you're leaving? No, you want to try it? Right, work away, work away. A lot slower into this car, right? Don't be afraid to give it a tap of the front brakes to like kill the speed when you're coming in, right? Just before you go on too much angle. See the way, the way you came in there was mint, but when you let go of the handbrake, you dabbed for a second one. Because you're coming uphill, you need to floor it, yeah. right? Because you're, you're actually, you wouldn't realize it, but you are actually moving up a bit of a hill. So just floor it from the halfway around point, right? Are you trying to keep it in a bit tighter? In tighter? In tighter, turn it in. That's it. Clutch in, clutch in. That's it. Right, go. Why 
I want you to do now is this is actually going to make you think, right? I want you to stay tight to them cones and try not go on the concrete. Okay. Okay? That's actually more of a challenge than just letting it go wild and wide, if you get me. A lot more like tapping your front brakes to keep the nose in, okay? That's it, that's it, Joe. Yes, boy! Savage. <laughs> See, that's not bad. Like, you're only half a wheel over there compared to where nearly four wheels the last time. Yeah. See the way they're coming yeah. up as well. That's like when you get half around that, just foot to the floor and try and have a spoon. That's it. Not water to you, lad. Not water to you. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's how the wall came up there very quick for a minute. I was like, what's this? All you can do is hold on and record. <laughs> We'll go around once more and then we'll go in and we'll get the car a break for the next day. The next victim. That's it. That's it. It's not moaning, we're like, we're going to die. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, clutch in, clutch in. See how much violence it takes over when you put your foot in the clutch and just let it roll over, right? That's how you get your jerkiness. How we are finished. Oh. Okay. Right, last one. Right, go, go in on. and give the car a ride. Oh, yeah. Start squeaking, turn it. Turn it, turn it, get in more. <laughs> that's the job. We can leave that job cool down there for a few minutes anyways. Yep.